Hi friends, this is Reading Corner. I'm Jackie Iker and Pearl is in the background sleeping. She's just been grumbling at me that I'm spending too much time at the computer. Today I'm starting a book that I found in the library when we were cleaning to prepare for the first time back in the sanctuary. And I found a book called The World of the Kalapuya a native people of Western Oregon. It was written by a woman from our church, Judy. And I have to be honest, I need to ask for sure how to pronounce Judy's last name. I knew her mother. So I know her, um, one of her last names is Rycraft, Judy Rycraft, but I need to ask for sure how to pronounce her other name. Jantenen, Jantunen, possibly. I need to find out. I've talked with Judy. She's a wonderful person. I was so excited to find this book because tomorrow is the first day of American Indian Heritage Month. So that's why I'm reading this. I'm just going to read to you from the introduction today. Well, here is a map. And you can see Mary's Peak on here. And the word Shempenefa, Shempenefa, that's right where our church is built in that area. So these Kalapuya Indians were, uh, native people were right where our church is currently standing. And I like to remember that when I'm out in the Hanson Grove, which is where we hid pumpkins today, and Trey and Moses and Mac came. And um, I just always feel like that is such a special spot with the creek running through it. So I guess I'm thinking of this group of people who lived there before um, white people ever came. Since long before the arrival of explorers, fur trappers, and settlers, Oregon's Willamette Valley has been inhabited by native people known as the Kalapuya. The region's first people were not an Indian tribe. The term tribe refers to several groups united by an overall structure. Instead, they were made up of several separate bands loosely related by language. Each group spoke a different language or dialect from the same language family, Kalapuyan Tackleman. That was the name of their language. The World of the Kalapuya, this book, represent, or presents the story of the Kalapuya as it is known today. It is based on archaeological evidence, people who have written down stories from this group of people, and information from their ancestors and descendants. Piecing together their history is a challenging task because there is much that will never be known. At its peak, at the biggest the most people that ever populated this area from this group is estimated to number as many as 15,000. That's 15,000 people in this group of Kalapuya people. But by the Mid 1800s, when we start to see people come through, Europeans come through, the number was reduced by epidemics, kind of like the, the COVID, something like that. So epidemics of malaria and pneumonia took the number of people down to 600. The devastation brought by the introduced diseases led to the collapse of ancient structure, their culture, their way of life, and other elements of culture. 
a tremendous wealth of cultural tradition and knowledge died with the victims of the epidemics. And so there were only a few people, really just a small number of people who could be asked for information. There's still a lot to learn about how the Kalapuya lived, what they ate, what they wore, how they hunted and gathered, and how they managed their natural environment. Some stories and myths have survived. Spiritual traditions continue through living descendants to today. And that's where I will leave it for today. Here is the cover again. It's got a picture. It's kind of glaring. I'm excited to read more of this book and I'm excited to share it with you because especially someone we know wrote this book and it's actually signed by Judy. This is a signed copy. All right, next time I will see you and we'll learn more.